Good morning everyone, welcome to another episode of the Hunt for Bronze. Um, Barra fishing again. I've got the bug at the moment and I've got some payback to put on these fish. I have not done well on them lately. I have not. I am one for about, I think I'm one for five or one for six on hook up to landed fish in 12 days of barra fishing, which is not good. I don't like that. And hopefully today we can make a change. We got a good array of rods ready to go. We're just, we're just gonna grind out a few fish. Um, make it happen before the weather gets too cool. Well, not too cool. Um, before the weather cools down and I change to a different sort of barra fish and where I'll probably maybe go once or twice in the winter and then wait until probably October because I'm gonna get on the bass grind and the dewies and all that, all that other stuff. There's so much to do, so much I want to do. So, we're barra fishing now. If you haven't done so already, please do like the video, leave a comment. Comment, how many barra am I gonna to lose today? You know, I've been saying how, who's gonna get the biggest and stuff, but you know what, Let, let's be honest. How many barra am I gonna to lose today? Because it's gonna happen, but we're gonna to try to make it not happen. And that's, that's the goal for today. Try to make that not happen. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. These uh, these barra sends aren't cheap, and uh, each one of you that subscribe to the channel does help in a little bit, even if it's just to put my video up there on your suggested watches. Anyway, I appreciate everyone who's come around and, and has subscribed and everything else. We're on our way to 3,000 subs this year. We can make that happen. Well, you guys can make that happen, and I will be very much appreciative of it. This has been a long intro, but it'll be worth it. Let's go barra fish. Woo. All right. Maybe dumb, maybe a bit much, but I'm gonna start the morning with a bit of a go big, go home attitude. Big, silent, wake bait. Um, the only reason why I'm throwing this now is the water's a bit cooler and if we can con a lazy barra to have a big meal. That's slowly worked across the surface. We might, uh, we might con one into biting, you know? damage for me last time. It's a five inch uh, pontoon 21 arowana done or something. I think it's an arowana done. On a quarter ounce six. I'm gonna say six oh. Um, probably not weedless I'm pretty sure. And we're just gonna roll this through. The edge. Get this in nicely. Fish it in amongst this stuff. I'm a bit, a bit out of it. The the drive up here in early morning, late night, kind of. I'm a bit fatigued, so I just need to get a bit of, a bit of a warm up done. Really, it's been two and a bit weeks since I fished, so I'm a bit. A little bit rusty. But we're just gonna roll this plastic just through this timber on the edge. Um, plus, finding this these shade pockets, getting it in there and coming out. Hopefully, I need, there's a lot of bait. 
I reckon because the water's dropped in two weeks, a foot or so, I reckon all that bait that was hiding up in that reeds and stuff has had to be, be pushed out. There's stuff being blown off that tree there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yep, there's it. There's it, man. There's a fish. It's only a little one. Get away from the electric, buddy. Oh, I pulled the hooks. I do like the front end of that. It does look good. Just there. Right in there. Oh, yep, there's a fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a really good fish. Holy dooly. Holy dooly. Holy cow. That's a really good barra. Oh. No way. Definitely the biggest solo fish I've ever caught. <clears throat> oh, I'm shaking, guys. Oh, I'm shaking. I get it, I get it, I get it. fish means a lot it's a lot of a lot of really really hard days on the water for that that fish means a lot that is a that's a cracker cracking barra cracking fish mm -hmm. can't believe it It's an absolute beast of a fish too. He is so thick. It's such a thick 
fish, like girthy, very healthy barra. Look at that, <coughs> solo fish. That is so sick. <sighs> so, so sick. <sighs> Time for a few photos and then to let this beautiful, bodacious girl go. This big, beautiful specimen go. Look at that. All right, just sorted my life out after that cracking fish. Um, just needed to re-rig the plastic up, and cut a bit off the front and then just put it down further because that barra almost ripped through on her. So I just shortened her a touch, still swims lovely, still has a great body roll. Does exactly what it needs to do, and uh, yeah, we'll just, you know, get cracking. Absolutely stoked on that fish. I'm two for two for seven in 2022 for Barra, so things weren't looking great for a bit there, that's for sure. But that fish came off of this big snag. Beautiful looking snag. Absolutely dunked me. It hot. It is very, very hot. In the sun, which is a good thing. Means that water's warming up. Up in there and hopefully Mr. Barra agrees and goes, yes. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do want to eat your lure because yes, it is warm enough to do that. And I'm like, I'm glad we both agree. And that's kind of how it's going to go. What I am going to do is once we get around the corner, I'm going to rig a lure up just with some heavier trebles for tonight. That shade slowly becomes greater as the de day wears on. We're going to find that the sunny warm bank is going to hold some of the fish. You know, it's sunny now, but as that sun goes that way, I'm going to get a nice bit of shade on this bank. Yeah, the salvos are definitely slowed down from, from about moonset, really. There's one. Oh, that's not a bad one. Not a bad little one. Yep, and he's thrown it. All right, that was on the uh, Arowana done again. And sitting at one for three.
just a little one. Play the game, play the game, play the game. Yes! Little Tucker! But we got him! Yes! <laughs> oh, he's not big at all. But hey. Oh, like, he's 50 to 60-ish. 50 to 60-ish. Little bit of bronze. I guess you'd call me the uh, hunt for bronze or something because he is a bronze, bronze barra. Great looking fish. <sighs> Great looking fish. Look at that. All right. There's another. It's not a bad one. That's a good one. Oh no, it's not too big. Way to do a rod. Nah, he's a little, little tucker. Little tucker, but yes, I got him. Oh, he's about as big as the other one. Oh. All right, there we go. Little bronzy guy Let's see if I go back like that to end the night with <sighs> awesome god I love it he hit hard too he went a lot harder than I thought he was for the fish that size but that's what you get when you barrel fish right you get these nuggets of fun sweet guys that's another episode of the hunt for bronze done and dusted now I'm going to film the outro now so I can get a few more casts in, but I can show you what I used today right now. And I guess what you've probably already guessed already, the title of the video's namesake. Now this is a uh, Pontoon 21 Arowana done. And look, I was skeptical at first. I didn't, I wasn't a hundred percent on it, but after swimming it and fishing it a few times, I can happily, happily say that this is one that you want to, Put in your in your barra tackle box even jewies i reckon jewies will go mental flathead um i think there's a seven inch one cold would probably love it too anyway definitely would consider adding that to your to your tackle box um links on where you can get it will be down in in the uh video description below but paired with that um and a rod that i've been using recently which is the Eternity RX10, the ACM. It's a 12 to 20 pound. Yes, I did get it right, seven foot two with a Shimano SLX, which if anyone recalls from Instagram, I asked a question about 12 months ago, best budget bait cast reel that you want me to test. And look, I'm happy with it thus far. The only downside to it is drag at top end. And I can talk about that more in a in a later video or a different video if you guys do want some information on it and look if you do leave a comment below on it um but 30 pound braid 60 or oh, 55 pound liter um mono liter quarter ounce 60 
own uh, weedless hook. And yeah, just slow rolling around the weed. Anyway, we've got probably 10 minutes left of fishing and I'm gonna get to it. So, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, go out fishing and enjoy yourselves. This has been another episode of The Hunt for Frogs, and we're out.